Alright, welcome back. I got some resources and then I was building a little bit, so I added on to the structure a bit. But I've got a few resources now that I can continue building. I haven't done much, I just made it so that mobs can't get into the building. I've added this part which will house the, the smeltery because it'll pop out this area up here a little bit and kind of has like a roof above it and everything. There will be a basement. And I figured out that I won't actually need stairs for that, I will use the elevator blocks. I went mining, and I got a lot of ores. A lot of them. So, I got a few diamonds. I can make a quarry, but I gotta smelt everything down still. And, I got a bunch of other stuff that I will start building with. Or, yeah, start building with. Obviously, as you can tell from the amount of bees in here, I'm probably gonna be doing... I don't think I'm gonna be doing speed builds anymore, because my computer seems to hate it. Um, when trying to upload the videos. It's just swing around real quick. So far it's pretty much just a empty hollowed out shell that doesn't have much of anything in it or any importance at the moment. This is where I set a run out of wood, as you can tell. But yeah, so once I'm done with that, I'll give you another update. Alright, I'm back. Um, got a lot of this done. Uh, I'm working on the site floor now. There's a floor, or, or a roof, sort of, and the inside is pretty much done for this. I've got to add a basement, and I've got to get another elevator block, so I'm one too short. I'm thinking, thinking this area would be like a study, and this is obviously the elevator up and down, and then this will be like the main area where I craft and stuff. The basement will have the four smeltery and where my ingots are stored and everything. I'm thinking of putting the mine entrance a mine entrance out there. And yeah, we'll see. Uh, this area in here will likely be like where I can enchant things or maybe if I have I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so Back again. Probably the final update before the house is actually finished and probably furnished. Um, I've built the second layer, and I'm now working on the last layer plus the towers. This one will be a tower, and then this one over here will be a tower. And the towers again will just have another floor on top of them, um, which will be used, but I don't know what for yet. So, yep, that's how the house looks so far. And once I finish that up, um, I'll start moving my stuff over here and actually start building on the mod pack. Alright, I'm back. Um, almost done with the house. I still gotta do the entire basement, but I've got the last uh, floors done. I've got the two towers. They're not really any taller than this, but. I'm considering them towers because they are taller than that. Uh, they don't really count as a floor. These middle ones don't really count as a floor because they don't have windows and this is pretty much the only space. The only reason I have these is so that I can guarantee that I have a space up. Alright, so I'm finally bit done building the house. Uh, as you can see, it's finally got a roof on it. The basement is done. I forgot to show any... Oh, it's kind of really boring. I just had to dig a hole and fill it. Um, I've added two large, nice-looking windows. And obviously I put glass in all the windows. I've put the roof on with some peaked roofs here and there. And a hole down here for the smeltery. You can also enter through the back door down here into the basement. And this is just a mark for the smeltery is going. So that's that. This is probably where the forge is. I'm gonna have the larger, or uh, the smelter is gonna be. I'm obviously gonna have the larger smelter than I do now. Just gotta move all my stuff down here and up there and wherever. But moving out the hole finally. And this is the first floor. Uh, I've already showed you. I replaced the wooden doors with iron and added silent 
pressure pads. Obsidian pressure pads, so lops can't get in. The upstairs. Our second floor. Nothing too horrifically fancy, but I've got the attic slash towers. I haven't I, I don't know if I'm gonna leave this empty or if I'm gonna fill it in, but this is the inside of the big window. I've obviously not changed this one yet, uh, which I probably should do. After I finish building up the house, I can come back and actually start using the mod pack mods, because most of this has been done in vanilla Minecraft. So I think I'm going to have a, like a walkway going out around this area to like a sort of balcony area over here, but I'm not certain just yet about that. Now if you ever wonder what this is, is a donation station for um, one of the mods. I think it's open blocks, so I don't know. Alright, welcome back. Um, I finished building my house and moving everything over. As you can see, everything has been moved, even the smeltery. I've upgraded the smeltery, and I've started upgrading to many Ellium tools, um, which we'll, I'll work on later this episode, but as for the moment, not right now. First I'm going to show up the uh, house, and then we'll start working on that. As you can see, this is now completely full. Well, not completely full, but it's completely upgraded as far as I can see, as far as I need it to be. And, why not? Down here, it's changed a little bit. I've moved all my tools, stations, and everything down here, crafting table. If you're wondering, the donation pig is up here. Um, there, in my actual craft crafting room. Uh, let's see. There's a pillar there. I've got a storage room, which I've called a magazine because I was playing with somebody on a PvP server, one of the first ones I played on with Minecraft, and uh, that's what he called it, so that's pretty much what I've been calling it ever since. I've got a uh, railcraft going this way, which is a lot of stuff that I've looted from chests around the world. Not other people, but uh, like dungeons and shit. Uh, cobblestone and sandstone and soul sand and netherrack and all that crap goes in here. We have compressed stuff on, so I can compress all this down up to eight times, I think, which is like a million, or eight million, um, cobble, or dirt, or whatever. I've got stuff for horses whenever I make them, and that's not supposed to be in here, actually. Um, for some reason I have glass in there, which shouldn't be in there. i got a few stencils, which I've also got from that. Um, all my building supplies are in this chest. I already showed you that one. Gems, and block, and dusts. Other stuff that's important. These things I've also got to make an area for. Yep. I've got a lot of ore I've got to go through, but I'm going to try to automate the pulverizer and stuff for that. I don't have a lot of resources other than that, though, at the moment. I could smelt this down. This was the pickaxe that I used to go from iron to obsidian and manilium, which I've named all these tools different things. This one's from Skyrim. Um, yep. I've got some chests here labeled sellable because I plan to open up like a general store, I guess. Pretty much it sells anything I don't really want or I have a lot of excess of. These don't have a... Oh, I guess they do have a crafting recipe. No, that wasn't working really earlier for me anyway. Produce. I've got a lot of wheat. I had a lot of carrots, but I gave some of it to people. Most of it to people. Got some... A bunch of this stuff. Mob drops. I got a necrotic bone, which I need to remember I've got because I couldn't put that on my sword. Yeah. 
I don't have a lot of wood. I've got a lot of extra tinker stuff, but I'm... Oh, no, I'm not, actually. Uh, Buildcraft, thermal, uh, expansion. I've got mistcraft. I've got pages, but I moved them upstairs. Tinkers. And, or, not tinkers, pipes and stuff. Uh, bees. And some other stuff. Uh, butterflies and silkworms, I think they're what they were. Well, I don't know how to actually get them, but, uh... Let's see. They should be... Yeah, so here's the butterflies, and here's the bees, and if I scroll down one... Or two... Or some infinite number... Yeah, I don't see it anymore. There were silkworms in there. It might have been larva. Or larvae, or whatever. There they are. Yep, and I've got a shit ton of bees. Well, not a shit ton, but I've got enough bees to start out with. And I've got that automated farm upstairs, which is trying to do the flowering. Some basic crafting, and this top one was also forestry, but more like machines and stuff. Uh, the smeltery is upgraded completely. It's got four of these, which I don't think actually had anything, because it only tries draining from one of them. And this one I just moved over here. Got this portable pipe, or portable tank hooked up to these, as that way I can fill up, because I don't have a nether pump yet, which I'm planning to implement soon. Or planning to get soon. For little, like, nuggets and things that are left over, I've just made these. Uh, liquid Ender is a big thing in this, so that's why I've got to make an official farm for the Ender Lilies. Which is why the I have the end stone in my inventory, because they grow faster on that. I got that legitly via um this. Seventy-two resin ender or yeah, in the smeltery on a piece of obsidian gives you end stone. Which it gives you a thousand for a block or for that it gives you twenty five. I don't know why it says that, but anyway. I haven't actually got around to furnishing the house. Over here I have my miscraft area. Which I'm also going to refer to as the study. So far I've got two books, two link books. One to the mining age and the other one obviously to the nether. Well, not obviously, but that's the way it is. I was going to have the upstairs as a storage room, but I don't know what to put in there anymore. I might actually move this one to the study. And leave the downstairs one for the miscraft room. I don't know. But, yep, that's all that's changed so far. I'm wondering if this is, this is paved stone, which my NEI options are turned off again for some odd reason. There we go. It's quarried stone, quarried brick. Yep. I like that little bit of the table top, in case you don't know what a uh, thing is. Then look at it and it'll tell you instead of actually having to pick it up and break it. See like this is ender lily seeds, well they're not seeds anymore but you get the point. Down here, yay, okay so I'm gonna see how long this video is so far and then I'm going to quickly see how much I need more, how more I need to make.